Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 18th of January 2018. So the pound continues to move higher, and that's because uh, the US uh, dollar continues to move lower, which you can see here. It's uh, below the support level that we marked up uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'll just convert this to a weekly chart so you can see. And the uh, price is uh, continuing to break this level long way down to uh, the final destination for this market should it continue to move lower and therefore dollar down we've got uh, the pound moving to the upside uh, two signals yesterday uh, you see the buying coming in there as well in the green and uh, also here and then 185 points later the pound is higher some selling on the overnight uh, which you can see there's going to be some profit taking in this market uh, as there's going to be a bounce in uh, the US dollar also so you can see uh, that uh, taking place there so let me just bring this down a bit you can also see that the markets uh, at uh, the 62 percent fib retracement uh, just uh, on this at the moment market needs to take this out in order to move higher and uh, just put the resistance level in that's going to be the next one because the market uh, needs to take this out in order to continue higher as well looks like the sellings disappeared from uh, yesterday as well because uh, price is already beginning to move to the upside the key is to close above uh, the 139.42 uh, 140 is going to be a, a major psychological area for this market meanwhile uh, actually just before we do that let's um just check news today and um, anything jumping out there no not really crude oil inventories are uh, a day late because of the martin luther king holiday this week and that's about it there's nothing there to scream about all the news will be out before the dow's main session so no nothing uh, nothing there mind you the market just ignores it or turns it into a positive now anyway so it doesn't really matter to look at the news but it's still worth noting uh, in particular central bank announcements so the Dow started off um, trying to find uh, some support there was some selling around followed by support followed by a bit more selling and then the market was brought back it was retested as usual so you get all of this uh, uh, toing and froing and then eventually the market comes back and finds support at the uh, 25,900 level and uh, as I said in yesterday's market alert, if it uh, moved higher in the daily chart, let me just show you what uh, we looked at yesterday. Spread this out a bit. There you go. We were looking at uh, the 76%. Uh, if it failed there, it would likely do this. If not, it was going to drive through, and it drove through both. And also driving through, it uh, in an increase in buying as well. So it's onwards and upwards. That was the second option. And uh, well, really, I suppose it should be the first option, given the background of the market, where it is just done nothing but uh, move higher. So just switching back, you can see it was straight up all the way through uh, the session, 200 points. It finished 300 points up on the previous day. Uh, on the overnight, uh, there's been a bit of a, a shakeout here. Uh, again, tested. No selling around uh, from the previous area. Um, get rid of that one which uh, was here you've got the selling here the markets retested here no selling compared to here and the markets then free to move higher new buying driving through the psychological levels and heading back to the upside and in the daily we have a new all-time high already 26,160 in uh, this market I'll just remove those for you this is going to change through today no doubt it's going to continue back to the upside uh, keep the uh, all-time highs coming as we've spoken of before right let's have a look at uh, the implied volatility which is showing uh, an interesting uh, picture at the moment well given that the underlying market moved higher yesterday strongly by 300 points the implied volatility has actually increased from 1039 to 1083 
which uh, says to me that uh, even though the market is moving high, going in the direction that everybody's being used to, there's still a little bit of concern here. And uh, you can see that uh, the option sellers are not convinced uh, by the move at the moment. So that's why it's being marked. So let's see what happens today. Let me uh, actually bring this back. But at the moment, uh, it's slightly out of kilter with the uh, normal pattern that would be uh, implied volatility lower when the underlying market is higher. And finally, in uh, crypto land, uh, the Bitcoin market uh, yesterday uh, breaking through these levels that we drew in yesterday straight through and down to the 10,000 psychological level where the market uh, found some support, which you can see here, a lot of volume in this market. What I'm going to do is just uh, bring this across, narrow that and we have a look here. What we're looking for in this market is some big spikes in the volume to bring in some support and we're in that area at the moment. 10,000 level is crucial at this point. The market must hold at this level. I wouldn't expect a straight reversal and shooting back to the moon at this point. Uh, given that uh, there's been this massive 50% uh, uh, shakeout in this market. Uh, I've got uh, an interest in buying some down at the 76% uh, retracement uh, should the market come down to this level. That's the only reason that's marked up there from this uh, recent low to the all-time high. Uh, just out of uh, interest, just to see how uh, it goes. But uh, that means it's got to break the 10,000 level uh, once more. So there you can see what's going on. Let's just drop down to um, a 30 minute time frame. I think if you double click on that, that brings it back. So you can see what's going on. So you've got, uh, this is the low for yesterday. And again, if you trade the markets looking at volume, you can see how uh, this all came to a grinding halt. This cluster of volume. And since then the uh, selling has disappeared. So there is support at uh, this uh, level here this is the line the the final line that we drew in which uh, we looked at on the daily chart which i'll just bring back for you and reset it there you go so a lot of volume to me this looks like a, a shakeout as opposed to actually uh, selling because again if you rescale the chart and go back to the other uh, corrections you'll see that the volume was far higher that's definitely buying coming into the market there. They had a bit of a shakeout. Uh, buying comes in, market's driven higher. Spike in the volume there, market stops buying returns. And then here, what we had was uh, a profit taking coming in just before Christmas. And then it really hasn't had the uh, opportunity to move higher. Um, there's no green bar, major green bars above. a small one there, but there's no major ones uh, following this and there's certainly no increase in volume as we got back to this level so this is a very interesting picture to me this looks like uh, we've got uh, the market uh, there they're testing for selling because we had selling at this area and uh, you can see it there but in the smaller time frames you can see there's a bit of buying coming into the market today will be interesting like I say keep an eye on the 10,000 level for uh, Bitcoin that's going to be the uh, the major thing is a psychological level. It's 50% of uh, the all time high or more or less thereabouts. Uh, just getting to uh, what was the all time high 19,666 and that's on the Coinbase exchange uh, for Bitcoin there. Right. That will uh, do it for this one. Uh, very interesting as things start to uh, show some volatility uh, all around, which is uh, great to see. Let's uh, hope it continues. Right, uh, with that said, let's um, call it a day. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.